I now own a portfolio of affiliate websites that make upwards of $40,000 each and every month. Ooh, you're hard showing off. But that wasn't always the case. So today we're going to take a look at the roller coaster ride that my first ever five figure affiliate site has been on since it started way back in 2019. Make sure you stick around until the end because I'll be sharing with you my do's and don'ts after going through this entire experience. And make sure you buckle up because it's gonna be a pretty bumpy ride. Pre-COVID feels like forever ago, and that's when I started this site. I got into the niche because it was a hobby and I'd started earlier that year. And as I was already spending so much time learning about it, I thought, why not create an affiliate site on the topic? The first six to nine months, I just started creating content. I did a little bit of link building, mainly guest posts, and to my surprise, my reviews and buyer's guides started to rank pretty quickly. It didn't take long for the site to get to around 500 pounds a month in commissions. Then COVID hit and this niche absolutely exploded. Now, yes, I did get lucky. Search was at an all time high. Consumers were almost panic buying some of the products. And the biggest challenge was linking to retailers that had stock of certain products. That year, the site grew way quicker than I expected. And it was soon making $10,000 commissions each and every month. However, it soon died down. Once the pandemic settled a bit and the panic buying ceased, I was left with a site that was making at around the 4K a month mark. Still respectable, but nothing like the highs it had had. So I doubled down on content, the same with links, and slowly grew the site. Then in June 2021, the site got smashed in a core update that focused on EAT. At this point, I could have given up. I'd started other sites by now, but this site was my baby. I wasn't ready to throw in the towel. So I set to work, continued with the content push, focused on higher quality backlinks, and worked to bring in credible writers that would allow us to showcase EAT across the site. It wasn't until almost a year later, March to May 2022, when things bounced back with a combination of the product reviews update and the May core update, bringing the site back to its former glory. Plain sailing at around 12K per month now, and I got comfortable. Until the site got hit in December, and then slammed again at the end of January 2023. Enough was enough. It was time to bring in the big guns. So I booked a consultation call with Charles Float, and after about an hour of chatting things through, I had a list as long as my arm of things to work through. Luckily for me, it was only a couple of months until the next core update, and that kicked the site back to all time highs. And for now, it continues to grow and is making a good 15K per month consistently. It's been one hell of a journey over those last four years, but that's kind of the point any site is going to have peaks and troughs and it's just how you manage those troughs and work to recover from them and then maybe things that you put in place to stop going into those troughs in the first place that's kind of what matters so here are my biggest takeaways from this entire process firstly keep content velocity as high as possible you want to implement EAT across your sites as much as you possibly can you do need to be going in and updating old content ideally every 6 to 12 months if possible try and keep the formatting consistent across your entire site so that's going to help with branding, but it also is going to improve user experience. Don't be afraid to ask for a second glance at your site. Sometimes the smallest changes can make the biggest differences and make sure that you focus on high quality backlinks. Now, if you're wondering what I mean by getting high quality backlinks, then you need to check out this video next where I take you through my exact process for obtaining high quality backlinks and what it actually means. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck with your projects.